Show me your hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's all over my legs, too. So if y'all aren't hungry, I just haven't eaten like a real meal. I ate like a bag and a half of ruffles. Like you ever eat a real cookies. meal? Did you see Vermont? You saw it? Valentine. <laughs> that cheap champagne. Rather drink beer all night in a tavern. Or in a honky tonk. I've got posters on my wall from winter. Hello and welcome to the vlog. So basically, you're going to see a whole lot of the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. But here's the first day. <laughs> oh, it's going so like cool. Water. vlog and I didn't tell anybody about it. So nobody watched it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eateries. Someone to you. Right? So now I stand like all the time. I, I stand like all the time. Okay, are we done? vlogging you're kind of just taking it so on day one I had to clean all the trunks so we took the covers off um, but I think it looks really good um, it took me a really long time but yeah Did they bring him head Ooh. does he get any yes they said he could have it don't give him a lot So on schooling day, I ended up just flatting a lot of horses. And I mean, it was a lot. I think it was like two, maybe. But um, this is Clover. This is who I showed last summer. Now he's a short stirrup horse for his owner, Anne. And um, sometimes the first day of shows, he can be a little wild. So I usually get on him and make sure that he's quiet, which as you can see, he was pretty quiet today. Um, excuse my equitation. I know that's not very good. So just focus on the really cute pony. Also, he has to wear those fuzzies because he gets bridal rubs. Um, but like we've tried the upsizing, like sizing up on his bridal and stuff, and he still gets them during the summer, so we just use the fuzzies. Anyway, he's very good. And then uh, you can see what I do is I like pick up a canner and then come back to a trot eventually. And that's kind of like he, when he's wild, he like jumps up into the canner. So usually how you can tell if he's quiet is if he'll just calmly her away but you know it's nice when these horses come to whack after being outside in the heat and it's all air conditioned and they're like whippy but he was a good boy So when I was done with Clover, I got on another short star horse named Bugsy, or he's actually a pony, and I just went and flatted him in the ring because he really doesn't care about anything, and his owner was coming the next day. Not. <laughs> Is there a ranch on my face? No, really close. Let me give this to me.
This is the horse I showed in the adults this uh, week, or the week in this vlog. Um, and I'm about to do something that I do pretty much every single day, which is I hack the horses in the ring before they get shown. Um, this is me letting Copper go after he was done. <laughs> So most of the days, um, like in the afternoons and stuff like that, was spent watching my friend show and helping my trainer set jumps and then we would clean tack, feed horses, wash water buckets and all that jazz. As I said before, um, pretty much every day I would go out and hack Clover in the short stirrup ring just to make sure that he was feeling good and ready for his little kid. Um, and he was always really good. And of course there were some really pretty sunrise views. And this day I actually hacked him and I hacked Copper before he did the three foot greens. And then I actually showed Clover in the two foot. This day um, on Friday the wet two foot, actually it might have been Thursday, it was Thursday. And he was wild. <laughs> But I mean, he was just feeling really good because he likes to horse show. So I didn't include um, all the trip because I mean, it's not my horse, but he was pretty good. He just sometimes Clover says, why do we add? But um, this was the only day he was really crazy. And then the rest of the days he was really, really good. But these are some like high quality videos from my friend Ansley's phone. And these are just of us doing the two foot. You can see he get a little bit quick there, but he comes back. He never does anything naughty. He just likes to throw his head around and have fun. Um, but that's usually why I do the warm-up classes on him. But once he settles in, I mean, he's a dream. So he was really fun to ride. Um, I don't think we placed this day just because he was a little bit... Actually, you know what? I think he got... No, I think he placed the next day. Um, but this was a really big division, the white two-foot. It almost always is. Um, I think this day it had 24 in it. Um, we didn't place on Thursday, but the next day, Friday, we got a sixth, um, which was really nice. And then the following week, good, so Chloe? week eight uh, on the getting summer series, good? we placed pretty well. And I'll tell you guys about that when those videos come up. Here's the last line. So you can see jump in good. And then I could have been a little bit stronger to not chip out like that. But, <laughs> I mean, it was, he's a cutie with two so. Stay here. He's 
says he's gonna eat some grass. Fine. Then why did you not know? Is this cinematic? Oh. So that's cinematic, then this is normal. I'm videoing your video to my vlog. So as you can see, another early morning uh, flat That's in the pretty. rain. And these are actually videos from the day before, because I didn't get any videos from Friday. Um, but these are just us warming up on Thursday. And I wanted to include them here so that you would have something to watch. Um, but he's so cute. Um, but yeah, so these are just us jumping some warm-up jumps before I went into the class. Um, sometimes it looks a little tight, but I prefer the tight when I'm doing um, two foot, lol. Turn it around when you start the video. Do you have Snapchat? So um, Friday, Copper had the day off. I just took him on a little flat slash trail ride. He's actually so funny because he's not. He would jump fire if you asked him to. But like the banners in the tunnel were literally the most scary thing ever. Hold on for a second. It's not, it's not ideal. Shut up! <laughs> it's really interesting. I think it looks great. <laughs> so I guess there isn't like a morning clip for this day of the vlog. But um, this is Saturday. So this is my first day showing in the adults on Virginia Gold, a.k.a. Copper, who is a very, 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 very good boy, and he's saved my butt many times. So I will um, preface this by saying that I haven't, like in this clip, I hadn't jumped this horse, or actually jumped three foot, um, since like, mm, like May. This is like a June. Yeah, it sounds about right. So my first jump is good, and then this is my second round. So this is my better round. Um, I think I got, there were 16 adults um, that weekend, and I think this day I got a 7th um, over fences, which was good. Um, and then I got a 5th on the flat, which was really good, considering there were a lot of really, really nice horses in there. And he's still pretty baby. I think he just turned 7. Um, but yes, yeah, so my outside line was not bad. And then this is a chip, because um, I really, this is the one I got 7th in, so I guess the judge just really was being kind that day because um, my eye was not all there and I don't know why I put the f second round before the first round in this video but I already started the voiceover so I'm too lazy to change it but you'll see um, some actually you know what this is my first round yeah I'm an idiot okay this is my first round so my first round was not that bad this line was the best line of the day um, it was really nice and then we come around to the two stride in and out um, and he's such a cutie patootie, and this horse is literally a saint. Like, you could ask him to do anything, and he would do it for you. Um, and you'll see why he's a saint when you watch the second round. But yeah, great in and out, great lead change, such a good little baby horse. And then the next video really showcases, um, why they call it the adult amateurs. Um, even though I'm probably the most amateur one out there. <laughs> um, and it's really sad because my trip is actually really, really nice until what happens happens but i'm going to show it because it shows how saintly of a horse this is and how wonderful he is and how terrible i am but we'll get to that so this is the second round um we didn't um, we didn't place in this one <laughs> obviously um but you know i was a little downcast about my riding um this day but my first round wasn't terrible, and this round wasn't terrible except for what happens. So we had like a great first jump, a little kerplunky, but he's still learning how to use himself, and I'm still learning how to make him use himself to the best of his abilities. Um, but he's such a good boy. 
So then we come up to this outside line, and it's really good jumping in. And then he walks the lines like he's such a cool horse. Jumps out great. Um, come around to the in and out. Da -da -da -da. Right here, I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, I hope I see it. And I think I chippy chip a little bit. Yep. And then he really reaches to get out because he's such a saint. And then, you know, he, he says, and then I just, oh, this makes me hate myself. But I turn the corner and I lose all my pace. And then I'm like, why don't we just jump from super far away? And Copper says, oh my god, you're so crazy. And then look at this angel. He jumps right out beautifully. Such a saint. I mean, that's the only reason I'm showing this. Because, you know, you're not supposed to show bad things of yourself on the internet. Because the internet is all, you know fake or whatever but I wanted to show how good of a boy he is and then I have a little bit of a chip to the last jump but so that wasn't the ideal second round but um, then he plays fifth in the flat so he's just a, he's a good boy So you guessed it, another morning uh, hacking Clover in the ring. Um, this day was actually the first day that I think his owner was, no it's not, this is Sunday. This is the second day his owner was going to show him. And then I did some <laughs> quarter marks on Watch Me. Um, and you know, they might be a little amateur, but she got second out of like 20 in her AO flat. So I mean, it must have been those, right? So I don't really know what I'm doing in this picture. Um, the copper looks cute. So I was going to tell you how our second day in the adults went. It went much better than the first day. I think we got a fifth and a sixth over fences, I do believe, which out of such a competitive group of adults, I was really, really happy with. Um, I also felt like I rode a lot better this day. And um, I don't know, I just, in general, I felt like it was a better day for sure. So, that's why I'm yawning. Um, come around. This is my first round. And I'm just going to brag on myself a little bit. My trainer told me that that jump couldn't have been better if I tried. Um, which is, you know, very nice to have praise um, like that. It makes me feel good with myself, especially after riding like I did the day before. Um, but yes, yeah, so then he had a great first jump. And then we are a little bit close jumping in but I think that it was what was there and I had to kind of gallop up a little bit to get out um, just because you know it was a little bit pokey uh, coming around the turn and then we come around to the in and out and great jump in great jump out and he has a great little lead change he's so funny um, about his lead changes he's very dramatic with them but he's so cute and then we come around to the outs oh no we're coming around to the single oxer um, Sorry, I get sometimes I forget what happens in these horses, but um, I think it, this is a respectable distance. Yeah, a little close, but it was definitely a planned close distance instead of my usual uh, pop chip. Um, when we come around to the last line, great jump in, and then I needed to set him back just a little bit, so he's a little bit close jumping out. Could have made a better jump if I had backed him away a little bit, and then I got the lead changed just a little bit dramatically. But overall, much better riding on my part um, for this one. And this is my second trip. Um, I don't remember which one I got what in, um, just because I literally have the memory of a goldfish. Um, but they're both good, I thought, and he gave me a really good feeling over the last in and out of this course, which is all I can ask for, you know, the chance to get to ride it a big pretty horse and jump jumps and not make a fool of myself. So my first jump is a little close, a little kerplunky, like using that word if you can't tell, but um, I need to quiet my body down too, but great little lead change. Um, come around to the oxer, and we'll have to wait and see what it's like because I can't remember. There it is, see that was pretty much 
Uh, if anything, it might have been a little bit better of a distance than the last trip, I think. But I think I rode it pretty similarly. And then I don't think I make the same mistake here um, when it comes to, you know, being too close out of the line. Great jump in. One, two, three, four, five, six. To see much better jumping out. It's all about fixing your mistakes, right? And by here, I'm like, oh my god, please don't screw it up. Like, don't screw it up. Don't do anything. And then all I see coming out of this corner is this really big jump. But my trainer said that she was all that she saw and that it worked out. So it was good. And he wasn't too close jumping out either. So, phew, okay. And then I, you know, coming around the in and out, I'm like, oh my god, I hope that I see it. I hope that I see it. And it ends up riding right up. And he feels super great jumping it. He jumps the first one awesome. And he jumps the second one great. And he was just such a good boy. So I had a lot of fun this day. And not that I didn't have fun the other day, but it was more fun because I rode better. Hi, Kate. Look at that horse. I'm not going to drop it. So then, um, this is Thursday? No. Yes, no. This is Wednesday. Um, and this is me flatting Copper in the morning because he didn't show in this ring the week before. So I just got on him to make sure he'd be good for Sarah Madeline, his owner. Well, I'm gonna watch her under saddle. That's how he's trying the horse, and then she's coming here and she's going jump. So, this is definitely from Friday, um, the last day that I showed at WEC. Um, sorry, is this is the WEC two foot again um, on Clover. This is um, this actually went much better these day. Z yeah, these days. Z um, I don't remember what happened on Thursday. Um, but I think he was good. <laughs> I think he got um, like a seventh and like a fifth. Or something on Thursday. There was 24 in it um, this week. A little chippy chip first jump, um, but that's really just me. Um, and then I do believe, because I was all like, because I some of this riding is not my best, and you know, like it's only two foot. So I was like, I'm going to quit jumping for the foreseeable future and just flat horses and not jump anymore. And then I ended up getting third out of 24, and I was like, well, maybe I'll keep jumping. So, um, this line was really nice. Oh, this must be my second trip. Yeah, th no, this is my first trip. See, I'm so terrible at remembering these things. But my second trip, I eat the oxer at the end. Um, so this is the one I got third in, and I think I got like a sixth in my second trip, which is surprising, because I literally run like... This, so this I have a little bit of a long jump, but it looks pretty good. Then I get him back pretty well. And then, oof, down this outside line, I just, like, started counting strange or something. And for a second, I was like, oh, my God, I'm so far away. So it's a little chippy getting out because I was not far away. I needed to wait. Um, the jump in is really, really nice. Um, 
So see, I'm like galloping and then I'm like, oh shoot. And then I, it's chip out, but Clover is pretty good at covering it up for me. But this round wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Um, but I mean, it was all right. It's really about getting him prepped for the short stirrup anyway. So, and he was really good for the short stirrup this week. And then I think we're a little short coming out of this line because he's got such a huge stride, so it's hard to kind of package him up to do the short stirrup um, abs. And then, I don't know, I might not show my chip for the next one. I might. We'll see. But this is a stringer courtesy circle. He was actually pretty lazy this day. Because um, I did the flat on him earlier that day, and he was pretty, he was a little happy in the flat. So I had gone and done some flat work with him afterwards before we came back to show. And, yep. So then we pick up our canner. This is our second round. And he's so funny, because sometimes, you know, going down on the lines, coming home, he's like, yes, I will get the horse step. And then I'm like, canner, right here. And he's like, ugh, canner. I don't want to canner. But he's, he's funny, but I love him. Love him so much. He's such a sweetheart. And he's so pretty, too. He's all dappled out. Um, my first jump, pretty good. Um, he's so funny when he jumps two foot because he just kind of moves his legs out of the way. But if you've ever seen my other vlog um, from WEC, I mean, you know this horse jumps incredible. Like, he's an incredible jumper. Um, but he doesn't really have to try that hard over the two foot. But sometimes he does. Sometimes he does try hard. <laughs> and so then we have a really nice line here. A little bit of a chippy going out, but it wasn't as bad as the one before. Um, and then we have this inside line. He's such a cutie. I think the inside line is all right. Might be a little close jumping in. Yeah, just a little close. And then I really had to sit him back. He did not want to wait, but he did, so good boy. Nice little lead change. He has such great lead changes. And then I think this outside line coming up was really nice as well. Um, let's see. Yeah, perfect. And then he jumps great going out of it. And then... <laughs> So I'm having a great round, right? And then, oh my god, my last jump. I'm like, because I didn't want to take the flyer, because I'm supposed to be, like, you know, teaching him to wait for the shorter distance. And sometimes all I see is the flyer, and then I just don't make a decision. And there was a lot of things I could have done. Like, I kind of built up to this a little bit. And then finally I just, you know, chip at it really ugly. But, I mean, it wasn't too terrible. He was such a good boy. So yeah, third and fifth out of 24. Woo! What? Who's that me? <laughs>
depends on what she cooks like me.